Well, getting your kids excited to eat healthy can be tough. They don't always want to listen to the well-meaning advice of adults. But if another kid has something to say about healthy eating, they might care a little bit more. Chef Bryce Taylor was a contestant on the show Chopped Junior. Yeah, he loves creating all kinds of dishes, but spends a lot of time coming up with healthy, delicious recipes that any kid can make. ABC 2's Kelly Swoop talked to him about some ways to get kids interested in healthier options. You know, as we tackle this epidemic of obesity, and especially with our young people these days, the challenge is finding food that's interesting, easy to meet, easy to make rather, and tasty. And I've got a chef, Bryce Taylor, here with me, 13 years old of a chopped junior who's made all these fancy dishes for us. But let's start out about your background. How long you been cooking? I've been cooking since I was five years old. Five as long years as old. I can remember. Okay. And what was your interest? How'd you get interested in cooking? I've always loved food. That's just straight to the point. I've always loved food. I am a born foodie. Oh, so what would you say? Baking, uh, cooking. What's your favorite? Uh, my favorite is savory cooking, but everyone loves a little dessert every now and again. I love desserts, and you have some with us today. Tell us how can you make uh, dishes like this that are appealing because they look great, but also healthy because that is the challenge as we deal with the whole obesity epidemic, oh, especially course. with, you know, you know, sweets. I think about my daughter. She loves sweets. Mm -hmm. And we all love sweets. I love sweets. But you can still have it, but maybe in a healthier version. Of course. Well, one way you can do that is by reducing most of the salt that you use or the sugar. And by doing that, you reduce any of the sodium that you're intaking in your body, which is healthier. You can also cut out carbs sometimes or just lower the amount of carbs that you're intaking. Okay, now this is an amazing uh, grilled shrimp salad, right? Yes, Arugula? Yes. Tell me, how long, tell me what's, all, what's all in it. Well, it is grilled shrimp with raisins, dried raisins, tomatoes, and avocado and kale. How long did it take to make something like that? That only took eight minutes. Eight minutes? Eight so minutes. You have it down to a science? Pretty much. So <laughs> somebody like me who's not a chef could maybe make some of these dishes? Oh, it's okay. You can cook. <laughs> I know you can. <laughs> Anyone about, can make this. Okay, now this looks good. This looks like spaghetti, but maybe not. See, that's where I got you tricked. It is almost like spaghetti, but it's no carb whatsoever. It's actually zucchini pasta used with a spiralizer. Mm -hmm. So you reduce the carbs. It's just gone. How long does something like that take to make? Again, eight minutes. Eight minutes? Pretty much. So now, how many uh, calories are we talking about in some of these dishes? Calories in some of the dishes. So the shrimp salad, I'm going to have to say on the high end, Probably about 380. Okay. That's that's great. And the zucchini pasta, that's only going to be about 280, mm -hmm. simply because it's literally just zucchini. Okay. All right. Uh, wraps. Everybody loves wraps. They're very very popular. You go to certain kind of restaurants, but you've got some kind of surprises in these wraps for us. Oh yes, of course. Look I great. have in the wraps tuna uh -huh. and salsa. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. Oh, salsa inside? Yes. Okay, so it makes it kind of juicy. Oh, of course. <laughs> you need that. And it is also served with a raspberry glaze, which sets it off. It's just a little bit of sweet and all of the sourness and bitterness, and it really balances out. Okay. It's in, all in moderation. Okay, now I, I'm, I'm going to have to try one of these because Please I do love, so. oh, sweet potatoes. That right there is a sweet potato chip mm -hmm. with reduced salt and basil. Good, I might have to have another one. Please how, do have as many. How long did it take you to make this? Honestly, just to get it down to dehydrate, only about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you let it cool off and it hardens or softens, depending on how you like it. And it's done. Easy snack for work, good. after school, or whatever. And this is something you can take to go with you as well. Oh, of course. Pop it in a Ziploc bag and go about your merry way. Mm -hmm. And something like this, I would think, is good for, like, um, you know, teens, tweens, because instead of, like, stopping at some of the fast food places, I won't name <laughs> any names. This is all healthy options, but you can take with you for, for your lunch, of course, as well as when you're on the go. I would love to take stuff like this for my lunch every single mm -hmm. day. And it's you great. can't you can't have all of these special treats without dessert. dessert. Tell me about this, this right here. It is chia seed pudding. Now most kids have a sweet tooth. I know myself. I have a sweet tooth as well. But this is chia seeds soaked in almond milk, mm -hmm. which will give you the simulation of pudding. Okay. You can either put vanilla extract in there, any type of flavoring so you can get that flavorful pudding, and also fresh fruits. I have raspberries and blueberries in mm -hmm. there. Eight minutes? I'm going to say less than eight minutes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> now, how many calories in something like this? You can see I'm a sweet fanatic. Sorry, guys. A hundred. A hundred? A hundred. Mm-hmm. 
because there's no sugar, just the almond milk. So, I mean, do you see this as, as a, a challenge, making these fancy meals but in healthy options, or is it just something you really, I mean, love to do? Sometimes it can be a challenge depending on what you're trying to make, but honestly, most of this stuff is made from things that you just buy every day. Mm -hmm. Like, I know I have a sweet potato laying around in my house. Anyone has sweet potatoes, fresh fruits, lettuce, and tuna. You can just make it. You just have to not use things and use them in moderation. So what would you say to parents who are watching this, who have, well, I mean, to me, I have a daughter at home who I'm trying to encourage to eat healthy, but, you know, these things are healthy and they're also appealing looking. Of course. Now, things can be appealing and healthy because sometimes you see things you just want it, even though it may not be that good for you. But I try my absolute best to make things appealing, especially the children, because nothing like that. And if I was five years old, I would probably grab it off the counter without asking. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> You said you started cooking, you were five. What was the first thing you made? All right, to tell you the truth, it was a grilled cheese, but it <laughs> turned out to be a charcoal cheese because I completely burned it. But Did you use whole wheat bread at least? Whole wheat bread? <laughs> yes, I always eat wheat bread. <laughs> but those were the cold days. But you went from grilled cheese to this. Um, I guess so. It just comes with age and skill and trying my absolute best in the kitchen. Okay. All the time. All right, well... Definitely some things to learn from, some things to chow down on, and uh, keep up your success. You're what, a, a freshman at Broad High School? I am. In fact, I'm loving the high school life so far. It's amazing. I love my school. All right. Chef Bryce, looking forward to seeing you on the big screen one day or at a fancy restaurant. Thank you. And I'll make sure that you get, you're going to be one of the first people there. Sounds good. Keep an eye out for this guy. Kelly Swoop, ABC2 News.